to do or to complete the proper show dish going to need the right shit. So I need you to have laptop, iPad, whatever the hell. I need you to also have a hard drive or a flash drive, whatever has your session on it. I need you to have your actual session, whether it was GarageBand, whatever you recorded in there. And I need you to have all that ready and together before we get into doing the show disc. So, like I said, a show disc is also known as a TV track because if you do it on TV or something of the nature, they need to hear you live. It's called a live show for a reason. I can't hear you live if you got your lead vocals in the background and on lead and on the hook and some shit. Y'all need to actually see what I'm doing. So, I'm gonna record my screen so y'all can see what's going on. We ready to roll. So I have Logic Pro X, it's also what I recorded just as bad um, in it. It was written by my boy E, produced by my boy E. All I did was sing a damn song. So I'ma let y'all hear, uh -huh. I'ma let y'all hear it. I'ma let y'all hear the hook and the verse, going back into the hook so you hear what it sounds fully, and then you'll hear it without the lead vocal so you'll know, know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, cool, so we're in the session. Cool, so I'ma play it from the hook as soon as I can find that mother lover. Uh, boom, so here's the hook. Okay, cool. So that was the verse, the hook. Well, that was the hook, the verse, and the hook. So normally for a TV track, what you would do is you would take the lead vocals out. So normally I leave my backgrounds to help me out in case, I need, in case I need to catch my breath or actually have it enhance my vocal or whatever the case may be. So I need to find exactly what track that is. It's audio 16, so I'm actually going to mute that. Boom, shaka laka. So the lead is muted, but the backgrounds are still on. As a matter of fact, let me mute audio 17 because those are like in and outs. So now when the hook comes in, here's the hook, and the verse comes in, there's nothing there. Those are background vocals, okay? So I'm going to go back, you know what I'm saying? And this is how it would sound as if I was singing it live. Oh, you wanna just the most of them in the right key not. Oh, I can see it in your eye. Boy, I know you wanna don't lie. I, you ain't gotta be shy. Tell me everything that's on your mind. So, if you, you saw that live, you would know that, hey, I actually sound somewhat, if not all the way, like I do on the record. So, once I would do that, so it would be hook, verse, hook, think it's another verse, hook, I could be wrong, but I know it's two verses in a hook. So, what I would do is, after I muted all of that, which is just your lead vocals, leave a hook on there and leave your stacks or your backgrounds to help with your, you know what I'm saying, to help enhance your vocals. What I would do is actually highlight the whole track like so. Actually, let me extend this bad boy. Be my little bad boy, bad boy, bad boy. Hold on, what's going on with the joint? Let me figure this out. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. So like I said, I would highlight the whole thing like I just did. Go to file, go to bounce, project the whole joint. Bounce it as an MP3, wave, whatever you feel suits your fancy. Uh, I would title it just as bad, C S C G show, just so I know that's the show version. Hit bounce. And then you're gonna have your own version of a show. I'm 
not about to sit here and hear this because I've heard this song a million and one times, but that is ultimately how you make your own show disc. Make sure you have the session, import, I would say import, make sure you have the session, open the session, mute your lead vocals, leave your backgrounds on there, leave your main hook on there, highlight the joint, bounce it, voila. Now you can go to the show and fuck some shit up. It's been a pleasure.